Yeah. Let's go to downward facing dog, shall we? Let's do it. <clears throat> Let me know any time at home, guys, if, if you don't hear me so well or something, I can adjust the volume. Hey, Sierra. Hey, Jack, Leslie. Thanks for being here, yogis. A couple more trickling in. Coming to downward facing dog. Body like a capital A. Let the head hang heavy. You want to pedal out the knees, bend and move around a bit. I can't see you back there at home. You do what feels good to you. Ultimate freedom accompanied by ultimate responsibility, unfortunately. Breathe in and breathe out. Take in and give back. A few more big breaths just like that. Inhale and exhale. Hey, Maureen. Welcome. Hey, Brittany. Glad you're here. Philip. And offer, ah, 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 that's it, take him, and get back, welcome him, and offer, ah, 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 ah. hinge forward to high plank, top of a push-up, always welcome to make fists if you have any pain in the wrist, breathe here, what great hair we have going on in here today, this is fun, great buns. You should see Marco off camera. He's shaved. He looks so young. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale lower, low plank. Drop the knees if you like. Exhale, press up, high plank. Inhale lower. Exhale, press up. Lower and up. Three more. Here's two. Yeah, nice yogis. Here's one, press up, high plank. You're going to like this. Plant the left hand right underneath the face. Inhale the right arm high for side plank. Your rest interval here. Stack the feet or put them right next to each other. Press actively down through the left arm and then lift the hips an inch higher. Yeah, smile. You're in yoga. Woo, haven't been here in a while. Inhale and exhale. There's a recent article in the Washington Post. They did a study, said if you hold side plank for 40 seconds for 40 days, it will dramatically start to correct any sort of scleotic curve, any sort of scoliosis that you have in the spine. So that's what we're doing here. We're about halfway there. Breathe in. About halfway into the side plank hold is where the smiles fade. Breathe out and in. Three big breaths. Hey, JJ Stepien. Thanks for being here, bro. Two more. One more, big breath in, high plank as you breathe out, five push-ups, go, breathe, and move, four, three, two, after your last one, press up, high plank, plant the right hand underneath the face, left arm high for side plank, other side, we can't just correct one side of the spine, if we want it to go straight. We got to do them both. Inhale. A lot of pressure. Smile. There it is, Kai. <sighs> Breathe deep. Steady. Ready to make the most of this moment. Another word for uncertainty is possibility. With so much uncertainty present in life, comes so much possibility for reinvention and creation in life. Here for five. Here for four. Three more. You got it. Two. One more breath, yogis. Inhale. High plank as you exhale. Five push-ups. Go. Lower. And up. Big finish, Marco. Here's four. Last three. Two and one. Press up and press back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Take in and sigh. Ha. Fill up. And why not go? Look forward and then step forward slowly and mindfully. Feet to the hands. Find yourself in ragdoll at the top of the mat. Take a moment to cross your hands at the biceps. Relax any tension that's crept in to the neck, 
Maybe that tension crept in several days or months or years ago. Not out the head and neck. Sway gently if it feels good to. Moment to honor this moment. Breathe in. And out. Take it. And give back. Inhale. And sigh. Ha. Toe heel, the feet towards one another. Release the hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into the toes, the shins. Squeeze the shoulders on the back. JJ, step in. Imagine the first half of a deadlift. That's exactly what this is. Breathe in. Forward fold. Breathe out. Again, halfway lift. Inhale. And fold as you exhale. Well done. One more time, yogis. Breathe in. Ripple the spine halfway. Forward fold, let it go. Calm the mind, give something away. Slow and steady, root and rise to mountain pose. Up, up, up. Stack one vertebra at a time. Deliberate, present, powerful. Open a possibility, reach up, hands to the sky. You outlaws have heard that a time or two too many, I'd wager. <laughs> one time is too many when you're told to reach for the sky and you're not in the yoga studio. Breathe in. Back bend, cactus the arms, open the heart to possibility and uncertainty equally. Inhale, reach high, mountain, and exhale, fold. Touch the toes or get close. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands, step back. Lower halfway, chaturanga as you breathe out. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, down dog, open the mind. Inhale, and exhale. Fill up and offer ha. Begin taking and sigh ha. Look forward and travel. Stepper hop, top of map. Halfway lift. Fold. Mountain pose. Reach up. Open the heart. Back bend. Reach up and fold. Halfway. Flow. Plant the hands and lower halfway. One or several push-ups here. Whatever you got in you, yogis. Up dog, open the heart. Down dog, hips high and open the mind. Slow down just a little bit, guy. Inhale and exhale. Fill up and go. Ooh. Look forward and travel. Stepper hop. Halfway. And fold. There, we got there together. Root and rise, mountain pose. And we're going to get through together. Open the heart. Shine. Reach. And fold. Halfway lift. Flow. Up dog. Open the heart. Down dog and open the mind. What's possible? Look forward and travel. Top of mat. Halfway. Fold. Stand tall. And open, reach high, and fold, halfway lift, flow, take it away yogis, take it away Marco, two more trips through, sun A, together, strong, and present, look forward, and take it away, breathe and move, rise, and shine, the only difference in the mind between uncertainty and possibility is the, the decision we make, the judgment we make in this moment around what's happening in this moment. One more trip through. Dig deep and finish strong. Together. Persevere. Push through. Rock and roll. And celebrate. What creation is moving through you? Meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Fill up and sigh. Ha. Look forward and step. Top of that. Halfway lift. Fold. Ukatasana, bend the knees, sink the hips into a deep squat. You can keep the feet close to each other, or why not walk them out wide this one time at least. 
You can lift the arms straight up or press the hands at the heart space. Whichever one allows you to sink deep. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. It <laughs> makes me happy to see you, Megan. Megan just said it makes me happy to see people doing yoga in the studio. Woo! I bet. Megan has elected to self-quarantine because her mother is in a post-operative state. Yeah, so she is making that sacrifice from her own space to not go out, to not order food delivered to the house. For God's sake, don't order food delivered to the house. That just puts two more sets of hands at least on your food. Don't order food right now, yogis. Cook food. And in the future, learn the lesson here. Grow food. Breathe in. Forward fold. Breathe out. Well done. Halfway lift. Crow pose. Why not? Plant the hands or the fists. Bend the knees and the elbows. Bring the knees as high up into the armpits as you can get them. Lift one foot and then the other. Squeeze the feet together. Hug up in the belly. When you're ready, shoot the feet back. Low plank. Yeah, yogis. Up dog. And down dog. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Touch it or try. Perfect. Just as you are. Lift it up. And step it through. Lunge. Crescent lunge. Reach high. Back leg strong. All ten fingers bright. Vibrant in the face, for they're watching you online. Grateful, creative, and open. Bring on the uncertainty. Life gushes. Everything in this moment. I wonder what's coming next. Today, Marco said it's a meteor. I, I don't know if I hope not or, you know, what the fuck. Why not? Breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Drop and spin the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Lunge the front knee as low as you dare and stack it directly over the front ankle. Extend all 10 fingers equally and opposite away from each other. Inhale and exhale, that's it. Breathe in and breathe out. Take it and give back. Stay low in the front lunge, reverse warrior. Sweep the right hand up and back. Paint the sky. Paint a canvas. Create while you can. Breathe in and out. Take in. Side plank. Release. Left arm down, right arm high. Half a breath to swoop up and open. Breathe in. Chaturanga. Breathe out. Take it low and flow. Open the heart. I dare you. Open the mind. Left side. Lift it high. Knee to nose. Touch or try. Yeah, Kai. Lift up. Squeeze and step. When you get there, reach up. Crescent lunge. Breathe in. And breathe out. Close the eyes. Same thing in the body. Something a little bit different in the mind. Where in your life right now, and I guarantee there are lots of opportunities, can you transform uncertainty into possibility? Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. That's it, yogis. Breathe in. Warrior two, open up as you breathe out. Drop and spin. Lunge low, bold and disciplined, and then set your gaze. Set your sights. Fierce compassionate, creative, full of possibility. Breathe in. And now, yeah. Take it. Give back. Stay low in the lunge, present in the discipline. Reverse warrior, left hand sweeps high. Stay committed, present. Inhale and exhale. Take it and give it back. Fill up. And release, side plank, right arm down, left arm high, half a breath to swoop open, lift the leg, it's funner that way, inhale, exhale, flow through, chaturanga as you exhale, if you wobble, it's okay, fall, I dare you, push yourself today, yogis, look forward, travel, top of mat, halfway lift, and fold, ukatasana, one time, sink low, forward fold, let it go, Halfway, crow, plant the hands or the fists, two breaths to stick it, and a moment to swaha that shit, low plank, yeah, up dog, yes, Sarah, and down, right side, lift high, 
Squeeze in, step through, lunge, reach up, crescent, open up, warrior two. Reverse, side plank, left arm down, right arm high. Breathe in as you swoop up and open, breathe out, transition, low plank, up and down. Left side, lift, lunge, crescent, reach high. Warrior two, open, reverse, side plank, right arm down, left arm high, swoop up, breathe in, transition, breathe out, chaturanga, up, and down, look forward, and travel, top of the mat, halfway, fold, ukatasana, fold low, halfway, Grow. You earned it. Don't miss it. Plant the hands. Whether you fall or fly, no one can see a yogi's. I dare you. Give it a try. Shoot it back. Low. Up, dog. And down. Let's go. Right side. Lift. Lunge. Crescent. Warrior two. Reverse. Side plank. Left arm down. Right arm high. Half a breath in. Sweep it up. Let it go and flow. Open. And offer. Left side. Lift. Lunge. Crescent. Warrior two. Reverse. Side plank. Right arm down. Left arm high. We'll count that as a high five. Flow through, yogis. Do your best. Up and down. That's what the times demand always. Look forward and travel. Top of that. Halfway. Fold. Ukatasana. Cyclo. Forward fold. Halfway. Crow. Plant. And when you're ready, flow. Low plank. Up dog. And down. One more trip through. Right side. Lift it high. Squeeze and step. Reach high. Crescent. Warrior two. Reverse. Side plank, left arm down, right arm high, sweep it up and open, breathe in, flow low, breathe out, up and down, big finish, left side, lunge, crescent, warrior two, reverse, side plank, right arm down, left arm high, you got this, shiny and bright, perfect as you are, flow, up, and down, three breaths, breathe in and breathe out, take in and give back, fill up and go ha, inhale, go woo, child's pose, drop down, big toes touch. Knees spread wide. Forehead rest. Hands press down. Rest. Rest and be proud of your effort. Be proud of pushing through sometimes a little bit faster than you want to. Be proud of the wise decisions you're making. Sometimes moving a little bit slower than you're used to. Commend you, yogis. Everyone out there doing their best. Even that poor misguided soul who just grabbed the last pack of toilet paper right before you had a chance to. Even that person's doing their best. Even the person tailgating you. Even that person's doing their best. Don't forget that as we get through this. Don't forget that. Everyone out there is doing their best. In this moment, allow a message from the psyche. What could it look like for you to do your best in your life? Converting some degree of uncertainty into possibility. When you see that clearly, allow an inhale to invite you up to cow pose. Drop the belly, gaze high. Exhale, cat. 
tuck the belly, gaze in. Inhale, cow, welcome uncertainty. And exhale, cat, offer creativity. Inhale, cow, welcome instability. Exhale, cat, offer some new form of creativity. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high, heels heavy. Breathe in and breathe out. The inhale and exhale. Relax the neck, any tension that's crept in, fill up and offer up. One more time, big breath in. Sigh together. Ah, oh, that feels good. Do that a few times in life right now throughout your day. Look forward and travel top of mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Ukatasana. Bend the knees. Sink the hips into a deep squat. Bring the hands through the heart. Hinge forward and twist to the right. Left elbow hooks the outside of the right knee. Both knees stay in line with one another. And the hips below the shoulders, please. From there, stack the palms, the elbows in one line perpendicular to the mat. Gaze high. Up, shiny and bright. Forwards. Always upwards and onwards towards possibility. Not stuck, mired in uncertainty. You can do this. Whatever this is, yogis, you can do this. Keep the twist. Keep the twist, but look down at the right big toe. Start to unweight the left foot. Keep the twist. Hug the left heel up towards the glute. Slow and steady, graceful through challenge. Step back. Land lightly, revolved crescent. That's what grace means. It doesn't mean athleticism. It doesn't mean raw power. It means the ability to be grateful in this moment. To let the body, the mind, be a living, breathing expression of that gratitude. Breathe in. Twist. Inhale, crescent. Mindfully unwind, reach high. Stability from the inside. Warrior two, open up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee deeply. A couple more times. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, bend. Good. One more, inhale, and exhale. Stay here, committed, your deepest depth, the place where your greatest capability meets the most extreme challenge. You know that's how life works, don't you? You know that's how life works. It will always serve you the greatest maximal possible challenge that you can possibly take on. And that's what we have on our hands here. And you know what tomorrow will be? Harder. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You know what the day after that's going to be? Weirder. <laughs> and it's going to keep going like that until the day it all stops and you die. Okay? That's going to be life. That's what life is. It's a game, right? And God forbid the day you get bored with it. God forbid the day you get bored with Warrior 2, hold it a little bit longer. See what happens. See if it renews your interest in it. Breathe in. And out. And then meet that challenge. Because you can do it, yogis. Three. You got this. Here for two. You got this. Here for one. You can do this. Strain the leg. Yes. Triangle. Reach forward. Arms to six and twelve. There is nothing we cannot accomplish with our concerted efforts together. Have you seen the satellite photos? There's less pollution over China. There are good ancillary benefits happening out there, and I encourage all of us to cling to them, especially in times that are harder inside of our own minds. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Star, let the left hand lead you high. Parallel the feet, reach up. Open the heart, offer it up. You're perfect just as you are. Reach high, sink in a horse. Yeah, because what would life be without challenge? What would it be? Tell me. It would be goddamn boring is what it would be. 
That's why we court it. That's why we create complication in our lives. Is to create arousal, is to create interest, is to keep ourselves as players, as avatars in this life interested. So do this. Sink to a depth that gets your instant interest here. And in that place, focus. In that place, press the palms. In that place, close the eyes and invite or force a subtle smile to play across the face. Because God damn it, you chose this. And we chose this. We're going to get through this. Stay low, yogis. But as you breathe in, reach high. Breathe out, bring them down and go again. Faster and fiercer. Let me hear you and feel you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Star, reach high. Warrior two to the front. Reverse. Side plank. Left arm down, right arm high. You knew it was coming. Let's get crazy. On an inhale, low plank, low push up. Exhale, right arm high, side plank. That's the left, Kai. All right, well, fuck it. You guys both went to the left. Inhale, lower, low plank. Exhale, push up, right arm high. Inhale, lower, low plank. Exhale, push up, left arm high. That's it. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push up, open up. Two more. You got it. Finish strong. One more. Push up, open up. Chaturanga, flow through. Up dog, open. And down dog, offer. Breathe in and breathe out. Take in and sigh. Ha. Ah. Relax the neck, yeah. There's some area of tension in the mind and the body and the life that you do not need truly. It's not serving you as you make moment to moment decisions. Find that place and invite it to ease. You inhale, look forward, and exhale, travel. Top of mat, please. Halfway. Fold. Ukatasana, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. What if you knew it was the last time it was coming? What if you knew this was the last time you'd be in this pose? Would you sink deeper? I wish I could see you at home. Are you sinking deeper? Sink this much deeper. I crush your head. Crush, crush, crush. <laughs> this, this, the elements of this are fun. I miss all you guys, but part of this is really, truly fun. Hands to the heart, hinge forward, and twist to the left. Breathe in. When you breathe out, rinse, press, twist, open the heart. A few more right here. And just when you want to run, stay. Breathe deeper. Sink an inch deeper. Keep the twist, but look down at the left big toe this time. Start to unweight the right foot. Pull it up mindfully, slowly step it back with grace and control. Revolved crescent. Well done, yogis. Press and open. If you need to, you can always drop the knee here. Only do that if you're down the other side. Breathe in. And out. Inhale and exhale. One more fill up and offer it up. Crescent, unwind. Warrior two, open up. Now remember last time we did that maddening exercise on the other side. Straighten the leg as you inhale and exhale, bend the knee deeply. Do that two more times on your own breath and to your own rhythm, as Marco says. And after the last time, don't wait. Commit to your deepest depth yet, right here. Place your gaze in a way that makes you feel powerful and most present. And right here, commit. In and out. Present and powerful. Transmutating with every breath, every moment. Uncertainty into possibility. Three more times. Two. And one.
straighten the leg. Everyone, triangle. Go for it. Reach forward. Press the left hand down and reach the right arm skyward. Scoop the left glute under. Take the gaze high. Lean back as much as you feel comfortable. Cultivating a sense of trust, a sense of faith. That whatever is happening in this moment is exactly what needs to be happening right now in this moment. Not quite yet. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. One more time, Yogi's Philip. And offer up. Right hand leads you high. Star, take it up. Parallel the feet. Open the heart. Offer it up. Yes. Reach and sink into horse. I'm not exactly sure where to place me. I could block your view of the yogis. That's a little too close to Sarah. This is a little too close to Kai. At least with our new social distancing mores. You know, if we're going by social distancing, I should actually leave. Bye. I'm out. <laughs> you got to know when that shit's not serving you anymore, yogis, and ditch it. When it's not, stay low, but reach high. Breathe in, bring it down and go, Rah! come on, let me hear you. Rah! Fast and fierce. Let the whole world hear you, yogis, and feel you. For five, four, three, two more, and one, star. Warrior two to the front. Reverse, side plank, right arm down. Left arm high. You know what's coming. One step to get even. Breathe in and lower. Low plank as you breathe out. Push up, open up, right arm high. Side plank push ups. Go, yogis, get them out. Leave it all on the mat here tonight. Yeah, shred it, Marco. Yeah, Kai and Sarah. Let's go. Five, yogis, you got it. Dig deep. Four. And finish strong. Here's three. Yeah, a little smile never hurt anyone. Two. Last one, your best one. Push up and then flow through. Breathe in and breathe out. Take in and get back. Fill up and go ha. Look forward and step. Top of that. Halfway lift. Fold. Mountain pose. Slowly stand and reach high. Open the heart mindfully. It's time to shine, yogi. Reach up. Hands to the heart. Close the eyes and consider that when life serves you a great challenge, it is serving you a great opportunity. It is meeting you at the place of your utmost capability. Tree pose, left foot down, right foot high. You can bring the foot to a kickstand, to the inner calf or the inner thigh. Just avoid placing the foot directly on the knee. And then don't wait for me. Don't wait for permission. Make of this moment a creative and bold expression. Express yourself, yogis. Make hay, as they say, while the sun shines. And you know what? Make hay while the snow falls, too. Today's the vernal equinox. It's the first day of spring. It's also 25 degrees outside and snowing, <laughs> at least in Colorado. <laughs> Someone asked me the other day, please don't say that the earth and environment is fucked while we're watching class. My two-year-old is in the room with me. What if I just say it's fucky? Breathe in <laughs> and release as you breathe out. Hands to the heart, foot to the mat, close the eyes. Because nothing is fucked here, dude. Nothing is fucked here. We can take corrective measures, but we will not be able to take drastic and the necessary corrective measures if we do not first acknowledge and accept where we stand and the circumstances in our environment around us. We must first accept this moment as it is 
and then making this moment of co-creation to the extent possible to us. The tools as they are. Tree pose, opposite side. Whichever one you didn't do there at home. Hell, you might be doing a different balancing pose at home. As Bob Ross says, hey, if you want a bright green sky, then that's your painting, that's your world. You make a bright green sky, you paint the duck blue, whatever you gotta do at home. This moment, this mat, this breath, it's for you, even when, and perhaps especially when, it challenges you. Here for three. Here for two. Here for one. Big breath in. Release and let go, everyone. Hands to heart, foot to mat. Close the eyes. A moment to take in and a moment to clear it out. Inhale, reach high mountain. Exhale, open the heart. Back bend. <clears throat> reach up. Fold low. Hands to the heart. Halfway lift, crow, plant the hands or the fists, bend the elbows and the knees, knees into the armpits, hug up, and then hold for a moment longer than you want to. Right at that place, you usually fling your legs back to low plank, take one more breath, and then go. Low plank, yes. Good job, Sarah. Good job, Kai. Good job, Yogi, said Mark. Go, yes. Up, dog. And down. Well done. Breathe in. And out. Fill up. And offer up. Hey, Mikey Asino. Good to see you again, brother. You inhale. And sigh. Ha. Hinge forward to high plank. And lower slowly all the way down to the belly. No more side plank. Not today. Not today. Gaze to the right. Gaze to the right, breathe easy. Rest for a moment. If you don't know what to do in these times, rest. I was in the gym twice a day before they closed. Incidentally, the last time I was there was me and a bunch of silver sneakers, I swear to God. Everyone in there but me was over 60. I was like, what the hell, man? You're the demographic we're supposed to be protecting. What are you doing? Call my grandpa. What'd you do today, Gramps? I went to a movie. No, you didn't. Damn it already. <laughs> if this is going to work, it's got to be everybody. Switch your gaze gently to the left. Breathe steady. What if this was just a permission from life to rest a bit? What if this was just an opportunity to do your breath work finally? To finally recultivate your meditative practice? Those of you who are off work, reframe it. You're on vacation. You're not out of work. You're not struggling to pay the rent. You're just on a staycation. Try that. At least until it comes time to actually pay the rent. Then, you know, you'll have to take more decisive action. With our funds out there coming, hopefully, and we'll post a couple of those resources, a couple of those links in the comments of this. Megan, maybe you can put the link to the Colorado unemployment uh, application in the comments of this video, please. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press up to tabletop. Bring the right leg forward for half pigeon. <clears throat> If you'd rather lay on your back for supine figure four, then damn it, you're at home, do that. If you'd rather have a cold beer or a glass of wine right now, you're welcome to do that too. All bets are off when you're taking yoga live and you're at home. We'll have to find one way to get a couple of you represented on the screen so we can make sure they're lunging low enough. Yeah. Relax your forehead on your stacked fist. That's the ultimate discipline, isn't it? It's the one which you are responsible for. Now that we find ourselves unattended, perhaps unwatched in ways that we're used to, what are the choices you make? I'm playing little games to try and stay productive at home. Every time I walk through a certain doorway, 
I have to stop and do 10 push-ups. So it keeps me from pacing like a caged lion of some sort. I am drinking. It's important to stay hydrated. I said in the last video that elderberry syrup and vodka and sparkling water makes a hell of a cocktail. But I'm requiring, I'm requiring a minute and plank for every cocktail that I'm drinking. You know, it's a give and take. Create a little game of it with yourself. My friend Ryan Van Duzer, he's a hell of a guy. If you don't follow him on social media, find Ryan Van Duzer. He interviewed a man who was quarantined in China for 51 days. So next time you cry, it's been 51 minutes without some stimulus. You can look up Ryan's uh, channel and see his wonderful interview with this guy. Don't forget that if it's hard for you, it means it's hard for a lot of people too. It's hard for a lot of people. Allow that natural empathy to be cultivated and to flow through. I'm so inspired by a lot of the stories from the yogis around me, the way they are braving the grocery store and sharing their presence with people who are panicking. You're doing good things out there, yogis. I'm, I appreciate it. I'm grateful for it. Don't forget to take these moments to serve yourself. Don't forget to grab a couple little things when you're at the store that you really like to have, but maybe you wouldn't buy if you're on a limited budget. You know, buy a box of cookies. Why not? They haven't really topped the Oreo, have they? You know? <laughs> buy a box of Oreos. I bought a box of chocolate-covered Oreos the other day. Now, I had to play a little game with myself. Otherwise, I'd eat the whole box. Um, what I do with a box of Oreos is I eat one, and then I hide the box. <laughs> and then I have a drink I do my minute of plank and then I go look for the box now if I've done a competent enough job hiding it then it, it provides a, you know, about three to four minutes of recreation I burn about the amount of calories that one of those delicious wafers supplies chips, potato chips are excellent survival food don't forget that nutrient dense, full of wonderful fat and salt, calories, mmm, potato chips. Why not? Why not eat a handful of potato chips tonight? Treat yourself. <laughs> Appreciate the giggles. <laughs> Hope there's a couple at home. You know what's cool about practicing yoga at home? You can fart anytime you want. <laughs> anytime you want. Don't try it now, it will hurt. Uh, Do it as you're switching sides here. As you're switching sides. Not here, girls. Not here in the studio. No, you guys switch sides. Just don't fart in the middle. Don't fart in the middle. <laughs> But do switch sides wherever you are. Whatever pose you're in, take a few slow, deep breaths to switch sides. <clears throat> When you get there, settle in. Once you've settled in, why not take a second to look inside? To consider one place in your life where tonight, where as soon as possible, you can create possibility from the massive uncertainty that's mounting. What's one way productively you can trick yourself into being just a shade more productive if that's what you need? If not, You might need to trick yourself into calming the F down. There, I got an F in. There, I, there you go. I swore less in this video. <laughs> Your trick when you go through the doorway because you find yourself pacing might mean you have to sit down and take three deep breaths. Luchi, talking to you, Luchi. Slow down. Talking to a lot of you yogis. It's easy to get sped up, isn't it? Especially when the world is swirling around us very, very fast, it's easy to feel, oh, I should be moving very fast also. But as I said in our last class, there are so very few real survival scenarios where you need to make immediate decisions. So very few. And we're not there. We're not there yet, and I pray and I hope and I believe that we will not get there in this particular scenario. So why not take a few deep breaths? Why not stop and consider, is this the most productive action I can be taking right now? 
Why not stop and go slow? Take it easy. Life, me, all the circumstances around you are giving you that permission. Go slow, yogi. If you need help, look up Marco De Fajeda's music on Spotify. If you need help, go to outlawyogaclub.com. Use the promo code OUTLAWMONTH for your first month free and do any number of meditations that are there. Any number of 5, 10, 15 minute classes meant to help you make the most of this moment right here before it passes. As you feel even, when you feel even, allow a few full breaths to transition onto your back. Take your time. When you get there, hug the knees into the chest like you love the knees a lot. Remember, you don't have a bad knee. You might have an injured knee. <clears throat> Keep the right knee tucked into the armpit. Extend the left leg long to the mat. If you want to take a moment to open the leg out to the right, explore some mobility, mobility do that. Make a big circle. As you're ready, guide the leg across the body for supine twist, yogis. Gentle grip with the left hand on the right knee. Sometimes I find I, I got a death grip on that leg with the left hand. Just allow the weight of the left hand to hold the knee in place and then extend the right arm in a way that feels good. Straight out to the side feels nice. Bent at 90 degrees like a cactus can feel good. Or you can bring that right arm all the way straight up so the bicep is by the head. It can feel good to stretch the armpit in this way. It's too seldom we stretch the armpit. <laughs> this might be a good time for it. Hey, what'd you do during all that panic? Oh, I stretched the hell out of my armpit. You? Oh, I panicked. <laughs> so you'll be better off for it. Even if all you do is stretch your armpit right now, instead of panicking, You'll be infinitely better off for this moment. Everything that's swirling around in it. Consider that for a second. Work together too. Some of you watching right now, when you've gone to the store or in this room, Marco's done this for me. When some of you know is going to the store, give them 20 bucks. Ask them to get you a couple things that will be easy for them. Don't ask them to go get you, you know, a certain Ben and Jerry's ice cream that's going to melt in a long line. Ask them to get you a couple apples. You know, and then do that for them the next time you go to the store. Work in teams this way, you'll cover more ground. Breathe in. And transition back to center as you breathe out. Hug the knees. Take a moment, silently, out loud, and tell the body you love it. Tell the body you love it, that you're grateful for it. <clears throat> when you've done that, extend the right leg long to the mat. Pull the left knee into the armpit. Do what you did on the other side. Open out to the left, big circles in the hips. When you're ready, guide the leg across the body. Supine twist on the other side. Surrender as much as you can. Which just means letting gravity do as much work as possible. Gentle grip in the right hand. Deliberate placement in the left arm. A moment, a choice for balance, for equanimity, especially as life swirls crazy around us. Always benefit us. 
serving us so that we can more fully serve others. Think of it this way. If Marco gets me carrots at the store, I have some fuel in my belly. And the next day, time I'm at the store, I have the fuel I need. Maybe I get him some candy. Marco likes sweet things like a hummingbird. You could give Marco just a gallon of nectar. Anyone who's at the bird store <clears throat> amidst this crisis, just get, get Marco a gallon of nectar, would you? Just the red stuff that goes in the hummingbird feeder? He'll live on that shit for a week. I've seen it. It's called the master cleanse. <laughs> you add cayenne pepper to bird feed and you're there. When you feel even, yogis, make your way to Shavasana. <clears throat> Spread out wide. Together, take a deep breath in and out. Again, deep as you can and out fully. Together, deepest breath of the day and sigh. Allow the breath to return to normal. Unconscious, slow and shallow. With each exhale, feel yourself sinking heavier into the surface beneath you. So that with this exhale, the back of the skull becomes heavy. Back of the neck melting, heavy. Shoulder blades, the upper back, heavy. Mid back, the glutes, resting fully. Backs, the hamstrings, the knees, the calves, melting, heavy. Backs of the heels melting heavy into the mat. And imagine in your mind's eye two little valves way down at the heels, the bottoms of the feet. In your mind's eye, take a moment to mentally unscrew those valves. So the two little openings, the mind and body, emerges. Imagine with each exhale you let go some bit inside of you that used to be you. Your identity, your past, your choices melting and flowing out the little openings in the heels. Feel your body at the same time becoming heavier and heavier as you surrender. As if you were laying in a warm bath that's slowly draining As everything that seems to have used to been you empties and leaves you, you become heavier and heavier, melting into the surface beneath you. <clears throat> As all the choices you've made, the chances you've taken in the past, leaves you. Feel yourself wonderfully empty brand new vessel ready to be filled creatively in your mind's eye take a moment to screw those valves back in so that those openings are closed and imagine with each inhale you call in a quality that you wish to possess within you so that with this inhale, you invite all the way down into the toes, the soles of the feet, compassion. To the tops of the feet, the ankles, calling kindness. Filling yourself up mindfully with each inhale. 
to the ankles, the lower legs inviting strength, mindfulness, and to the knees, the thighs inviting discipline, to the quadriceps, inviting endurance, whatever it is you wish to possess. The inhales, call it in and feel it filling you up from the inside so that the deepest layers of tissue in the hips, the lower back, the mid-back and upper back fill up with greatness, with joy, surrender or surprise. Call those qualities into the shoulders, the arms, forearms, the hands and fingers, capable, creative, resilient. Calling it into the throat, the skull, the face, calling those qualities in with each breath until they start to overflow with goodness. Imagine it, traveling out and covering the body from the skin in 360 degrees. Imagine with each breath, the interaction between you and the environment, that those great qualities start to be offered and spread and multiplied with all the people you care about within it. Imagine as a subtle smile plays across the face, your presence, becoming a multiplier for the presence of those around you. Inviting sunshine and positivity to multiply with mindfulness and discipline Feel a confidence emerge in the psyche, knowing that sometimes when you can do nothing, adding this intention to the breath will make all the difference to all the people around you and your environment. When you feel ready, to move on and embody that commitment. Invite subtle motion into the fingers and toes. Mindful movements into the wrists and ankles. Flex the hands and feet. When you're ready, stretch and reach the arms up high overhead, biceps by the ears, a conduit, clear and present. For consciousness to flow through, to infect all of the others around you. I invite you to roll onto your right side, to curl up nice and tight. Right arm is a pillow. Left hand placed mindfully in the surface beneath you. Take one final second to look inside you, yogis. Invite a message from your deepest wisdom. One place in life you can transform uncertainty into possibility. One place or one face in your life with whom you can make that decision and in so doing can change everything in an instant. When you're ready to meet that challenge and only when you're ready to make those choices. Press to a comfortable seat. We'll sing three ohms to seal our experience today, to be complete with our effort and our offering of energy. Place the hands deliberate. Close the eyes. Together take a deep breath in and out. Let's sing three times. Breathe in.
Inhale the thumbs to the forehead, and as you exhale, invite the chin to the chest or the forehead to the earth. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone out there. Hope you're staying safe and warm wherever out there happens to be. Go check out the Outlaw Yoga Club and put in that promo code Outlaw Month for a free month on me. Thanks for being here, Marco, Sarah, Kai, Yogis. We'll see you real soon. Namaste.